Yeah. So run us through some other shows you've done. You've, we've got Mamma Mia. Uh, yeah, Mamma Mia. That was that was a right laugh. Well, that was just such a fun time. We went to Amsterdam. Went to Amsterdam. And, and you were going on, you'd, you'd give us a little call. Say, oh boys, I'm just getting a little top up on my tan. Yeah, yeah I'd have to go and get a bloody fake God. tan done. God, like, what the hell is he doing? Exactly, yeah. but it, it, was to, it was just that, that with that show, you had to have a tan. If you didn't, mm. you ask anyone, you didn't have a tan. You're, you're yeah. getting called into the office if you don't have a tan. Yeah, so absolutely. you had to go and get fake tans mm. and spray tan. I got, I got, private doing the old fake tan and yeah mm-hmm. but that was re- that was fun that was a year and again a time in my life where I'd just come out of quite a long term relationship and I was very much ready to just be f- a bit frivolous with and not not as as in promiscuous it wasn't even on my mind it was more just for myself like spending my own money going on holidays not being mm-hmm. so orderly with everything I was doing because I had been for like the last three years and I hadn't really I hadn't really got to where I wanted to by being that way so mm. Mamma Mia was perfect because in a fantastic group of people on on the job um it was a fun show to be in you know you're not gonna whereas like Funny Girl was an amazing show but it's quite an intense show you can come out of it feeling quite drained because of the emotion that's involved yeah um, but whereas Mamma Mia, I mean, you just it's just the yeah, mega mix. Right and you, you come off and you're like, right, that's we going yeah. out. Like it's so <laughs> yeah. it's uh, yeah. it was it was fun. It was fun. Um, you mentioned Funny Girl. Funny Girl, yeah. Did that twice. Great. Yeah, so I did. Um, I did that in uh, at the Savoy with um, in oh god, like 2015, maybe 16. Mm-hmm. God no, no, way later than that. Maybe like 17, 18 with Sheridan, Sheridan Smith. And I did that for six months, and that was that was good. Again, roller coaster of emotions. A lot happened. Um, a lot happened backstage, on stage, uh, but still an unbelievable show. And uh, I think the outcome was always good, mm-hmm. but a, t- a tough one. I was, I was first time doing West End, first time living in London properly. You know, doing it, didn't do it all right. Learned a lot of lessons, but again, just learned a lot of lessons and. Um, with all of these experiences, any negative experience, it just sets you up to make the right decision. Of course, yeah, future. it improves you for further on down the yeah. line. And then you did it again in Paris. I did it again in Paris, and that yeah. was amazing. Yeah. That was so good. That was I met the love again. Of, I met the love of my life. You met the love of your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who we, I happen to be. Yeah, we <laughs> were. We were. <laughs> me and our friend Seagull. He, yeah. um, we went over to Paris and saw one of the valets, mm. and she said, "Oh, bonsoir." <laughs> I was like, oh you fell in love, mate. She's incredible. Yeah. So She's I messaged you. Yeah. I went, oh my God, Ollie, I've fallen in love with one of the valets. Yeah. Oh, and you went, this one? Oh, yeah, I'm dating, <laughs> I'm dating her, mate. Sorry. 